Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we are going to do something a little bit different today. I am starting a new series called Trash Talk. Now, no, this isn't about trash talking products or trash talking people. This is about taking my bin of what I like to call my happy trash of everything scented that I've used throughout the month throughout the couple weeks, whenever the bin is full is when I'll decide to make a video. Because let me tell you, I have a lot of stuff, I talk about a lot of stuff on this channel, but you want to know, how did it perform from when you first used it? How did it perform till you finished it up? And you guys want to know, because it's your money that you're spending on this product, just like it's my money that I'm spending on this product. And if I can help you get a great product, or if I can help you not get a great product, I will let you know. These are where I am 100% honest, 100% transparent. I'm typically like that in all of my videos because there's not a reason to not be honest. And for me, it's all about honesty. And you know, some of these, like this candle, I mean, you can see I have some issues with this candle and I'm going to tell you about it. Whether it's a vendor, whether it's a big brand, I'm going to share my trash talk with you. Since I started with this candle, we will start with this candle. This is the Farm Fresh Peach Candle from Yankee Candle. It's a large jar, single wick. They now retail for $31. I paid, I didn't pay $31, but you pay $31 for an unscented candle. Okay, so their large jars are trash. They have been trash for years. One wick jars do not throw. I don't care where you put them. I even burned this guy in my bathroom and I didn't get any throw. Nothing. And then as you see right about here, it started to give me problems burning. The flame got super, super small. It was just, it was a really crappy burning candle. I do have it in the two wick signature jar, so fingers crossed it performs better. As far as the scent goes, it's really good. It's a really fresh, really, just like the picture shows, fresh, farm fresh peach, like a great peach jam. You smell that like jelliness of the peach. It's so good, I just wish it had scent. So I will pop this jar in the freezer, take this out and pop it in my melters and hopefully I get a throw from it. But as far as that candle goes, no. Ugh, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This is not sweet cinnamon pumpkin. We have another one out now that's like, um, it's called the Kate's uh, Decor Collection where there's pumpkins all around it. That smells like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This just smells like a light cinnamon stick scent. I don't know why it's called Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. They forgot to put that oil in there, I guess, and it's just, it smells like a really light cinnamon stick scent. And the notes are warm cinnamon, fresh ground clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. And as far as the burn goes, towards the halfway point, the wicks and the flames got super, super puny, so I stopped trimming them. It did burn all the way down and self-extinguish itself, but boy, I mean, it like, no throw, it only smelled like a super, like I said, light cinnamon stick. I was not impressed by this candle. I will say, there's some candles in the bottom too. It's a bad candle week. I finished a hand soap in Sunshine and Lemons. I had this in my kitchen. I love the Sunshine and Lemon scent. To me, I prefer Sunshine and Lemons over Kitchen Lemon. Le lemon. lemon. This is Yuzu Grapefruit and Sun Rays. So it's super interesting that it's called Sunshine and Lemons, but it's grapefruit. Maybe that's why I like it so much. To me, it's like a really, really tart, juicy grapefruit scent. It's a really bright scent, which I think is awesome for the kitchen. They come out with it typically during all the year, but I like it in the spring and summer. Finish that up or in the kitchen. From L3, let's get into wax. Like I said, this is just like I'm grabbing from the bin. I finished Roasted Coffee White Elephant Exchange, and this I got on June 10th. I'm so glad I have two loaves of this, you guys. I love this scent. Now, as far as when I melt wax, I have a studio apartment, but it's huge ceilings. Like, where I film is in like an alcove, and this is a window, 
it's literally like 15 feet high. So, scent gets lost in here unless I use a lot of wax throughout all of my warmers. So this was a Bitty Betty loaf, which are like her little loaves. I cut it into eight pieces and I put one piece in all eight warmers. There's my scent. I finished one of these in one go, one day. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but about six bucks. I mean, hey, this smells amazing. It's like a great creamy coffee. This to me smells like your coffee when you get in the car from Starbucks. It's like creamy, rich, delicious coffee. I finished Vintage Chic Scents Pumpkin and Oud. Oh, it's called It's Showtime, but it's Pumpkin and Oud, and this was in the, I can't even hold it, in the Scream Face shape. I love this. Oud wood is such a cool scent. It's like a really cologne type of wood. I actually have a perfume from Louis Vuitton that's an Oud perfume. I'm obsessed with it. And this, the pumpkin mellows out that Oud and doesn't make it necessarily as bitey. It's more like creamy. Ugh. And I cut that scream into like six shapes, all of my warmers, and finish. I actually, do I have it in here? It's in here somewhere, I think. I mixed it with vanilla oud from Scentsy. Um, I finished from Candles by Victoria. I actually have this going in my bathroom now. It's a scent shot in Scarecrow Crossing. And I believe this is like, oh, this is a really fresh and like fresh fall air type of scent. So when you think Scarecrow Crossing, you think like outside in a hay field the wind is blowing and you get like that breeziness from the hay and the fresh crispness of the air there's like apples and pumpkins just around you but it's not a highlight in the scent oh it's so pretty this is definitely candle worthy i love that i finished another soap in afternoon apple picking love this scent it's apple succulent pear and cinnamon I don't really necessarily get cinnamon. It's just like a really crisp green apple. Green apple. Red apple. I'm literally talking about the pear scent with the apple. And and it's mixed with a really, really crisp, crisp green pear. I really like it. I do prefer the redwood apple hand soap, though, from Bath & Body Works, if I had to pick an apple for the fall. This guy, another Bitty Betty Loaf. I love this scent, you guys. It is Pumpkin Apple Farmhouse Cider. This is a good one. It's like... So the Pumpkin Apple is the Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Apple. So really, like, I, to me, and I always describe it this way, I don't know why, it smells like a really meaty apple. Like a really, really meaty apple. I don't know why, that's just how I describe it. Mixed with Farmhouse Cider. So you get a more emphasis on the apple than you do in the pumpkin in this scent. I really like it. I definitely want her to pour this in Big Lowe's. Pumpkin Apple Farmhouse Cider. This was a winner. It was like just a great blend of, you were at the fair, at, like at pumpkin time. Another scent from Candles by Victoria. This is Why I Autumn. Now, I typically, with Candles by Victoria scent shots, if I'm melting them in here, I split it in half and only put it in two warmers because her scents are so strong. You don't need eight warmers going. And this is hard to describe. I smell like a little bit of the leaves scent from Bath & Body Works, but it's not as bitey as leaves is. It almost smells like it's mixed with like a, like a clove and cinnamon. Oh, it, it's good. It's good. And the color of the wax is like a bright yellow. These last like typically two days in my warmers too. Super strong. I finished pumpkin. Two of these. Yep. Two pumpkin tiramisus from Scentsy. And look how yellow the uh, clamshell was. I typically, I have one, two, three. I have like eight Scentsy warmers in my apartment. So I do these are eight cubes. I do two cubes each in my eight warmers. So I go through two full bars every time I melt a Scentsy wax. It's expensive. It's like $12. Scentsy wax is expensive. But it is a good performing wax, especially in Scentsy warmers. That's one thing with vendor wax. If you're not using scoopable wax, it's sometimes hit or miss with Scentsy warmers. I love my Scentsy warmers for display purposes. Like, look how beautiful. I have the Acute Copper warmer here and the Enchanted Pumpkin warmer here. They're gorgeous. Throw-wise, 
mm, hit or miss unless you use Scentsy Wax. It's designed to be a softer melting wax. I have hot plate warmers throughout my apartment too if I'm gonna melt some harder vendor wax. But pumpkin tiramisu, it's nice. I'm glad I'm using them up though. It's a very creamy pumpkin. I don't smell any coffee. I don't understand why Scentsy can't get a good coffee scent. Coffee is so, there's so many different oils. I don't know why Scentsy can't get a hold of one. But yeah, like look how yellow it is. Like super yellow, but yeah, I don't know why Scentsy can't get a hold of a good coffee scent. They just can't, but Mm, I really like it. I like how creamy the pumpkin is, but I wish it was more coffee. I guess I could always blend it with something. Let me know if you guys are like this. I do not blend my Scentsy wax with other wax. I only blend it with the same Scentsy, and same with other vendors. Like, I rarely have ever blended, like, one vendor with another. I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of like a faux pas. <laughs> I don't know why. I finished, um, this was from Yankee Candle, one of her, their horrific wax melts. These these cups are a joke. I don't know why they switched. And this was in Fresh Cut Lilacs. I think I popped this in my bathroom because I, like, deep cleaned it. And I didn't want to, like, put something super, super clean. And I had these. It's nice. I, this Yankee wax melts just really stink. Oh, yeah. Lilac blossoms. There's the top for it. It's just, like, it's so much excess for one little melt. This is a winner, you guys. This is from L3. This is my least favorite shape from her, but these are those puppy packs. I just feel like it's never enough for a whole round of warmers, and some shapes are so small and some are so big. I don't know. I just don't like them, so I'm working on using out my puppy packs. It's not a sh It's not... I don't even look at puppy packs. Like, when she does her pour list, I literally scroll right past because I'm like, I don't want to see a scent that I might really like because I hate the shapes. And this is Blue Sugar Zucchini Bread Warm Vanilla Sugar. Danny loves this scent. That's why I tried it. I also have it in scoops. It's so crazy. Okay, Blue Sugar is more dominant than Zucchini Bread in here. But if Zucchini Bread wasn't in here, it would not be the same scent. Well, clearly, but it would not. This blend is so good. It's like... The blue sugar is like a masculine cologne version of pink sugar, if you're not familiar. It's still like a super sweet cologne, like perfumey cologne scent, but like I said, it's pink sugar's version for men. With the, with the zucchini bread, though, it doesn't make it a bakery scent necessarily. It just makes it very warm and comforting. Warm vanilla sugar, I mean, I don't really detect that in here even when I melted it. And this sucker was strong. This was, I got this on um, June 30th. These stickers I make myself on the back. I put them on as soon as I get a package in the mail from L3 because they don't put pour dates, but love. Next, I have two clams. I'm actually going right now. Jack's Obsession from Nightmare Before Christmas. I love this scent. It's like a really crisp green apple. It is a green apple mixed with like a cinnamon and clove. It's a very tart apple. I feel like Scentsy has a lot of apple scents, like a lot of apple scents, but they're all good for different reasons. And this one, powerhouse, strong, always throws for me. This is still available. I'll link my website down below. Um, yeah, I'm a Scentsy consultant, but like, I mean, I don't do it for money or anything. I do it for the discount because I like the wax. Um, or I like the warmers. The wax, again, I just said I love it. The scent, yes, but the wax is expensive. But anyway, Jack's Obsession. Finish those guys. I have some Zape. This is when I did... Like, um, a Christmas in July week? No. What was I doing? Oh, I placed my Zape order for the fall, and I was just like, I want to melt some Zape, but all I had was Christmas. So I picked scents that weren't super, super Christmassy. I did Red Cup Season, which was Espresso, Peppermint, Mocha, Uggs, and Leggings. Just a little fun play on words there, but this was strong. This was her wax brittle. Her wax lasts, too. This is one that you can keep her wax for a while, and it it's, gets stronger and stronger. Oh, this is like a rich, you know, chocolate mocha. Peppermint mocha. I mean, spot on and strong. This one, Hansel and Gretel's House. This was gingerbread, graham crackers, and vanilla frosting. And I wanted to melt this because um, the bag had a tear in it. And I don't know if that affected the scent, but I really didn't get any throw from this one. 
It smells good. They were two little gingerbreads. I cut each one in four and then popped them in my warmers, but I just didn't get much of a throw. I do think, though, it has to do with um, the bag being ripped. I finished um, pods in my Sensi air purifier. I like the air purifier, but, I mean, the to, to call it like a scent is a joke. I mean, it does not... It does not really smell. Like, I have an open concept, yeah, but I have it next to my bed, and I couldn't even smell any pod in them. So, I think I'm just going to use it strictly as an air purifier. But these guys were in Go Go Mango. If you're unfamiliar with the air purifier, it's a new thing from Scentsy. It's insanely expensive. It's $250. I got it half off with a party. But I, uh, they hold pods at the top, so that way you can scent the air as it purifies. But to me, if it's purifying and cleaning the air, it's not really going to scent it because it's cleaning it out. I don't know. It kind of seems contradicting to me. But anyway, I finished the Gogo -Go Mango. It's it's a good scent. I like Gogo -Go Mango. Just like Lisa Roberry says, the wax does not perform for me either, and neither does the pods. It's like a really um, just juicy mango scent. I finished an Elevation Candle from Yankee Candle, and yes, full transparency, look at how much soot this candle produced. Sometimes they produce a ton of soot, sometimes they're super clean. This one, super sooty. And this is in the scent Parent Tea Leaf. I loved this scent. It's a crisp green pear, but you definitely get like a white tea note mixed with it. I thought this would be a good like transition from summer to fall, because pear is more of a fall fruit. So good. It does burn all the way down. No problems, but like the soot was a nightmare. And if you're unfamiliar with the Elevation Collection, there are these little lidded jars where you stick the candle on them and it burns like that. Love the concept. Um, just wish they didn't burn as sooty as they do. And I don't know what's the story with them. If they're making them again, if they're not, because they're just, they came out with one new scent for fall. I see pictures that they're coming out with a Christmas collection, but, like, it's not on the website. You have to literally type in square candle in the search bar. I don't know. It's weird. I finished a mahogany coconut from White Barn. I love this scent, you guys. And this was also... Did you see all the dust? This was sitting in here for a while. Um, I had this, like, halfway burned for some reason and put it back, which I never do with my candles. That drives me crazy. I finish a candle till it's done. But with this one... I did, so I'm like, I'm just going to pop it in my bathroom, even though it's really out of season, just to finish it up, and it's so good. If you like mahogany teakwood, if you like mahogany apple, if you like mahogany balsam, this is another one to add. It's our summer version of mahogany teakwood. It's rich, creamy coconut with that woodiness of mahogany. I love that scent. <laughs> my favorite vendor. <laughs> the Pharmacist's Daughter Mint Cookies. Sugar Cookie Royale, it says Royals, but I think it's supposed to be Royale. Buttermints, Marshmallow, and Peppermint. It smells nice, it's like a buttermint cookie scent, but guess what? No throw. There's a shock. My October Advent Calendar that I'll get, like, after October starts. I'm not going to talk about it. Um... Lumberjack from Zape. Love this scent. It's fresh cologne, sweet apple, vanilla musk, and a hint of caramel. It was like one of her bars, and it had a mustache on it. Oh, super, like, a little bit cologne-y, but that caramel made it super sweet. Love this. Super strong, too. And with those bars, I cut that one bar into eight little cubes in my melters. Amazing. Mrs. Claus's Kitchen. This is so interesting to me, but it's one scent that, like, every time I smell it, I want more of it. It's gingerbread, chestnuts, and mulled cider. I don't know why the blend is so good, but, oh my gosh, it's so, so good. It's like, the chestnuts and the mulled cider blend with that gingerbread. It's definitely like an, uh, a cider, but I don't necessarily say it's like a super strong apple cider. It's more of like a clove and cinnamon cider. It's it's really good. Pharmacist Daughter Royal Wedding. No smell. Pharmacist Daughter Hole in One. Love the smell, but there's no throw. Zucchini Bread, Blackberry Jam, Jelly Donut. Um, 
I cut this into eight pieces, put it in all my warmers, including the warmer that I purposely bought from them to melt the wax of theirs, because you get a good throw. I didn't get anything. Um, letters to Santa. I hope that's not bitter, but sorry. I think the way that they handled the poor date situation was absolutely unprofessional. And taking criticism and making you seem like an enemy because you gave them criticism, to me, is a joke. And I'm honest on my videos. And that's how I feel. This one is Letters to Santa. Honey, Vanilla, and Santa's Pipe Tobacco. And this is such a good scent. It's like the pipe tobacco isn't super, super crazy and strong like cigarette smell. It's like a sweet tobacco with the honey and the vanilla. Oh, it's really comforting. And these were also in her brittles. I finished a candle from Candles by Victoria. Do not do what I do and fall asleep with a little bit of candle burning. It literally burned to the bottom, which, I mean, you don't want to burn a candle all the way down like this. You want to stop it right here. That's why they're soot, because I literally left it burning all night. This is the scent Apples and Oaks. Such a cool scent. The oak wood is real sweet with the apples. I almost feel like the apple is like a brown sugar apple mixed with the oak wood. It's fabulous. Pharmacist Daughter Sugar Bake Shop. Let me know if a vendor zucchini bread, cupcakes, and Tiffany's and vanilla butter fudge. I definitely want to order this from a vendor that throws. Um, so Fetch from L3. Strawberry pound cake. Today is October 3rd. I love today is October 3rd. And I love this scent. You actually pick up on it stronger than the um, strawberry pound cake. And today is October 3rd is her Palo Santo Toasted Marshmallow scent. Mmm, so good. I finished an old, old, old school apple pumpkin candle from Yankee. No throw on this either. I mean, it's old. This was poured 2000, 2012 or 2016. I think it's 2016. I don't know. Either way, this is like a five-year-old candle and wasn't super strong. I finished, did I only finish one? I oh, know. I finished my two. Just two? Yeah. Two sweet plum pastries from um, Scentsy. Love this scent. I wish somebody in Vendor Wax could duplicate this oil because it's rich, creamy plum. Oh, it's so good. Vanilla. Oh, love this. So any vendor out there, sweet plum pastry. If you need me to send you a bar of it so you can make it, please. It's so, so good. I love this scent. Love this scent. It always throws. I have like 30 bars. <gasps> strawberry pound cake. I was melting a lot of strawberry pound cake um, before I started saving my um, my bins. So that's why I was burning this candle. It burns down all the way. Sometimes I feel like it smells chemically. Not all the time. But I definitely prefer wax in it than candles. I finished a root candle in tobacco vanilla. These candles burn super slow super dirty and they offer no throw i really am not impressed by root candle like i was hoping to be i even drove to their store in ohio and in medina ohio and um i was really excited to go but i just was not impressed with the candles as they perform they just like i said don't throw oh there's my clam and go go mango my room's a mess watermelon tangerine shower gel from sensi i like this um, Lisa Roberry raves about their body wash formula. To me, it just is like any other body wash. I don't know. I don't, I don't notice a difference. So, I'll stick with my Bath and Body Works. Speaking of Bath and Body Works, I finished a Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Sugar Scrub. I, it's not my favorite um, fall scent from them. I like pumpkin pecan waffles, and I actually like sweet cinnamon pumpkin better. But the foaming sugar scrub formula is nice. It's like a really like granulated, like big granules, like sugar in the raw sugar scrub. But the scent is just, it's just um, a little bit too musky and perfumey for my nose. To me, I prefer... Like I said, a more creamy, rich pumpkin for the fall, where this is more like a 
perfumey musky scent. This scent from L3, I don't know if it was just like a mine thing. This was a big loaf in pumpkin pecan waffles and elf sweat. I don't know if it was because I'm thinking elf sweat and just thinking, oh, like sweat mixed with wax. You smell the pumpkin pecan waffles, but then that elf sweat note, I'm not even really sure what the description is, but all I kept thinking about was sweat when I was smelling it and it made me throw up. Not really, but I basically felt like I was going to throw up, so not a fan. <gasps> what I am a fan of is pumpkin pralines from Candles by Victoria. This is great. This is a blend of her pumpkin patch, or her pumpkin picking, and caramelized pralines. My friend, if you're watching, and I know you are, um, she's recently fallen in love with Candles by Victoria, and this scent is to die for. It's like rich, creamy pumpkin with that really great caramel praline note. Oh no, my battery's about to die. Oh, I finished Mrs. Claus's Kitchen from Zape um, in a scoopable, which I loved. Gingerbread, chestnuts, and malt cider. I talked about this scent. I think in alternating warmers I did the hard wax and the scoopable, and it gave me such a good throw. All right, I still have some more. My camera battery is flashing that it's dying. I'm going to go charge it real quick, and I'll be right back. All juiced up and back in action. <gasps> I finished a puppy pack from L3 in Strawberry Jam White Elephant Exchange. Now... I'm a sucker for strawberry jam scents, and who was it? Was it M's Crafty Corner on YouTube? I was watching her videos, love her videos by the way, um, the one, I think, is it, is it your hubby? I don't want to say if it's your husband or your boyfriend or not, I'm not 100%, but I just watched your Scentsy Clearance Hall, so cute. Um, the Strawberry Jam White Elephant Exchange. I feel like her strawberry jam blends all pretty much smell the same. Ant's Jam Filled Jelly Rolls is my favorite, but Strawberry Jam White Elephant Exchange is so good. I actually love this as like a nighttime go to bed scent. I feel like it's like so comforting. The Scentsy Scent of the Month for September. Scary good. It is basic. It's a very basic, creamy, spicy pumpkin. I don't really smell much, and it's not a good performer. I only do, so when I test out a Scentsy scent, especially the scents of the month, I do one bar in four warmers. Because I want to test out the true scent, because like, I feel like you don't need eight warmers to get a good scent. So I test two, 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 four warmers. I didn't get much from it, so made me pretty sad. Oh God, the pharmacist's daughter, cake and ice cream. Strawberry pound cake, birthday cake, cup of cake, and vanilla ice cream. I finished, it's not even worth talking about it. Um, Mallow Fireside. And this was a trig tart from L3. This was nice. Um, I definitely should have blended it with something. I feel like it's kind of plain. It just smelled like a toasty marshmallow scent. Um, I should have definitely blended that with things. I finished a scoopable sample from L3 in pink sugar. I did this next to my bed before bed. Mmm, I love this. This is another scent. I like very um non-conventional scents to go to bed with, like bakery. I love pink sugar before bed. I just think it's soothing and relaxing. I finished a little um, sample from Teddy Bee's in Beachy Clean. This was like a super fresh zesty, like, limey, coconutty scent. It's nice. Um, I'm excited to truly get, because it's not my type of scent, so in my wheelhouse, I want to get, um, I, I want to get some scents from her that I really like. From L3, I finish these, like, little, I feel like her, also, like, her little samples sometimes, and I hate to say this, are, like, a joke. I mean, I don't even know what you're going to melt with that. Like, if you're, like, a scent person like me, or like other wax YouTubers who have a lot of wax, like it's not a problem because you can just blend with things, but I mean, you can't even pop some of these little teeny shapes in a warmer and get any throw. Winter snooze, graphite type, fluffy towels, cotton candy, gummy bears. This is where I think sometimes her ones are odd. Fluffy towels, like super fresh and clean, cotton candy sweet, and then gummy bears. 
Pistachio Pudding Cake Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I actually really liked this one. I put it in my bathroom to try to get a good throw. Amazing. Ooh. This right here is why samples work. This is from Destination Wax in Applewood. It's definitely going in my order in October. Smoked Cedarwood, Red Apples, Pears, Ginger, and Honey. Okay, so typically when I... I let my warmers... Oh my god, I love this. This reminded me of these two good night sleeps that I had. I pop this in my warmer next to my bed. I have a 24 watt hot plate warmer. It's black next to my bed. That's what I pop my wax in before bed. Typically, I pop it in before, like an hour before bed. I'll like check emails, watch some TV, really get that great scent going, go to bed. The next day before bed, I'll change out the wax and add it again. I didn't have to change this wax out that night or the next night. It was great, and it still threw like a champ. And every time I smelled it, I got a little bit something different. I get this warm, rich apple. And then the other time I got this really woody scent, like a really great, like smoked wood. And then one time I got like the pear and the honey, like a really creamy, it's amazing. Amazing, her scents are, they do, they take you to another place. Her wax is amazing. All right, that was my empties, my bin. Well, after I threw those in there is empty, ready to go again. This is like my little basket that I use. So once it gets full, I think I got this at Target. Yeah, Target brands. So I got this at Target and love it. And yeah, so that's what I finished up. Once this bin is full again, I will review some more. And I just want to say, the pharmacist's daughter, I'm. everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And for me, I'm not a fan of the vendor. I'm not a fan of the way they handle situations. I'm not a fan of the wax. I tried it. I have a whole bin of it that I'm giving away because I don't even want it in my house. I'm waiting on this advent calendar that is never going to get here. Um, but it will. It'll just not be the first day of October like you want it to. And her wax has to sit anyway and cure. Well, if you believe in that. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, that's instantly just going to sit and a waste of $95. Again, again, some people feel like it's okay, and that's great. That's why I have this little platform here, to share with you what I feel. Because I paid for all the wax myself. I paid for all of her wax myself, and I've reviewed it. I don't like it. I didn't like that their poor dates were not accurate. I stated my concern. Instead, they take poor dates away and make me feel like the bad guy. That's not fair. That's fine. So, you know what I do? I don't order. But, I'm still going to tell you guys when I pop her stuff in my warmers to give it a try if I don't like it. If you want to order, great. I hope you have some great luck. I don't. And some people don't have good luck with other vendors. That's, that's why there's so many different vendors. Everybody's house is different. Everybody's different. I don't have good luck with her wax, which is great because I don't like their customer service either. So, that's it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoyed my little mini rant, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.